Okay, so this video is in response to something that just happened. I'm leaving the mall. And in this particular mall, near one of the entrances, is an Uber kiosk. Meaning a little freestanding counter manned by three, four, five people who approach people coming in or getting ready to leave the mall to try to entice them into making money as a driver for the Uber share uh, ride sharing whatever the hell it is they're calling themselves it's like a taxi service but it's not a taxi service it's Uber So I'm heading out the mall, and I try to avoid these people. <laughs> I really do. But this girl starts coming after me. I kind of lean, I kind of turn my head back, and she started walking towards me, and she's all smiling. And she's going to approach me because that's you know they get trained. Poor girl. She says, hey, have you heard of Uber? I said, yeah. She said, would you be interested in driving for Uber? Now, I've had them approach me before. Like, a guy caught me one time as I was coming in. And, Do you like driving? No. Do you like money? <laughs> as if, like, that, you know, the universal answer to that is yes. And I said, no. <laughs> Which is the truth. I answered honestly, I don't like driving and I don't like money. <laughs> and what this, so this girl asks me, you know, have you heard of Uber? Yeah. Would you like to be a driver with Uber? <sighs> or learn about being, or something, whatever she said, right? <laughs> and I, my response was, fuck no. She raised her hands up in sort of surrender. She had this look of shock on her face and she just turned and went back in and I'm sure she was offended I'm sure my response seemed to her based on her reaction this is my guess I'm guessing that she was probably like offended and what she would have been a better approach to getting at me would have been to say things like do you, do you uh, currently have a car? No. Do you like driving? No. <laughs> do you like automobiles? No. Do you want it, uh, an automobile? No. Do you like money? No. Do you like having your time constrained such that you have to be personally responsible for picking people up and dropping them off and ensuring their safety? No. Do you <laughs> want to be your own boss in a service that deals with the public? No. Do you, I mean, there's absolutely nothing, and none of this has anything to do, and I fucking hate traffic lights, too, that say I have three, two, one seconds, zero seconds to walk through this intersection. Now there's a little hand telling me, don't walk. Well, it's too late. I'm already in the intersection. Like, it has nothing to do with Uber. Fucking hate cars. Don't want a car. Do I have a driver's a valid driver's license? Yeah. Do I? Am I a good driver? Am I a safe driver? Am I insurable? Yeah. Have I driven in the past? Yeah. Have I owned vehicles in the past? Yeah. Have I ever dropped people off and picked people up? Yeah. 
Have I done that within the last couple of years? Yeah. Actually, I have. <laughs> Was it a pleasant experience? No, not really. <laughs> Is it one that you're eager to repeat? No. <laughs> no. I mean, do you see what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know, sorry if you were offended, but fuck no was just the quickest answer and an honest answer. Sorry if the truth caught you. No April Fools on any of this. This is the, uh, no, nah, this is all lies. I love driving. I, I would love to have a car. I would love to be an Uber driver. No. I would like to use Uber drivers. I wish it was free. I would fucking use them all the time, man. Sometimes just walking gets to be too much. No, I don't. I probably wouldn't. No, I had one Uber ride in Seattle. It was pretty cool. It was actually nice. It was really nice. Guy had like a little tablet with Pandora up on his dash and like offered to play whatever music we wanted. It was actually, especially compared to the bus, but. No, no, I do not want to have anything to do with being part of the providing of that service. I don't, I don't. And so I saved her a lot of wasted time that she would have wasted with me. She can go waste with somebody else. Oh, these people, these kiosks where they come and approach you, they drive me crazy. There was a time-sharing one at the Seattle, uh, what was that called? Let's turn around and look at the treat cars coming back this way. You know, when somebody like passes you on the sidewalk and you don't want them in your video, you have to turn around and turn the other way. And yeah, now they're sufficiently far ahead of me and the video quality sucks anyways. You can't see who they are. It was somebody rich and famous, by the way. It was a celebrity that went past me, so... I don't know if it was Tom Cruise or Donald Trump. It was somebody really famous and recognizable, and so I didn't, wanted to keep them out of the video. It, it really helps to pay attention to yourself and your likes and dislikes and to know yourself uh, you save a lot of time that you can then waste on other pursuits like trying to find out how to make social media work and be a rock star and shit like that driving nah that's uh, I don't want any part of that anymore I really don't I'm not saying I wouldn't I just drove a rental car from Seattle to Monterey California now we were supposed to go to uh, Florida we were supposed to go to Key West, Florida, and we only made it to Monterey, California. So, <laughs> oh, that's a that is a whole nother story for a whole nother time. Anyhow, <sighs> video's long enough, and I'm up at this really crazy intersection here, so I'm going to end this one. Fuck no, Uber. Don't want you. But love you.